Don't move. Don't anybody move. What are you kids doing in here? Don't you know this is private property? My name's Chris Anderson. My uncle left me this coach house in his will. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you have proof of that, have you? Uh, show me the letter from the lawyer. Where is it? What, what's this about a letter? What? Sir, Derek Norris has been missing for seven years and is therefore now presumed dead. In his will, Mr. Norris has said that the coach house on King's Lane is to become the property of his nephew, Christopher Anderson, on his 21st birthday. However, he may use the coach house before he's 21 for any worthwhile and practical purpose. Yes, well, I'll have to check this out. Do you mind telling us who you are? Not at all, young lady. My card. That's French, isn't it? Oh, Regan. Oh, that's Irish. I meant extraordinaire. It's a French word. Oh, yes. That, that, that means uh, uh, special. Yeah, that's what I am. See, a special security guard. My job is to keep an eye on King's Lane. Make sure there's nobody trespassing on private property. Well, we're not trespassing. Well, I'm not so sure of that, young lady. It says right here in the letter you must have a worthwhile reason for using the coach house. Oh, we do. Uh, don't we, Chris? Oh, sure. It's going to be our clubhouse. That clubhouse isn't worthwhile. That's just a bunch of kids playing games. Oh, this is a game. special clubhouse. Wait, 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 wait. What? What? Uh, what? What are you saying, young lady? Uh, I said paper. Paper? What? Uh, you're going to start a paper, are you? Uh, yes. I, I guess so. Yes, a newspaper. That's a worthwhile reason, and it's practical. Herbertville needs another paper, especially one written by children. Yeah, well, I, I guess that sounds all right. But I'm going to have to take this letter with me and check that it's authentic. Wait a minute, that's mine. You just can't take it. That's not fair. Now don't worry, you get his letter back. I bet he's in on the conspiracy. That is possible. However, we lack evidence. Oh, Santa, that Mr. Regan took Christmas letter. Yeah, he said he was going to see if it was saw something. I think he said authentic. Authentic is an adjective meaning genuine or real or true. Well, the letter must be real. I'm a lawyer. I'll bet it's more genuine than that, Mr. Regan. I don't believe he's a security guard. <laughs> so do I, Otto. Maybe I shouldn't have given him the letter. What do you think he'll do when he finds out we're not printing a newspaper? What do you mean, not printing a newspaper? I think it's a great idea. I've always wanted to be a reporter. Oh, come on, Sam. A newspaper is a lot of hard work. <laughs> Otto's right. As reporters, we can go anywhere and ask all sorts of questions. Nobody will know we're investigating the conspiracy. It's still too much work. How are we going to print it? There is a duplicating machine in the corner of the coach house. And we have a lot of reference books right here. But what's the paper going to be about? Oh, lots of things. Most papers tell you what adults think. What kids think is just as important. Come on, then, Give it a try. All right. Just as long as I don't have to write any stories. Great. Let's go over to my place for something to eat. We'll have to make a list of all the things we're going to need. Be sure to secure the entrance of the coach house. Okay, Santa, I'll lock the door. We'll see you in all tomorrow. Chris, you'll have to be the editor. Why me? Because I want to be a reporter. Well, what are you going to do, Lynch? Well, I thought I'd just... I am aware of that, Otto. 
but we do not want to frighten them more than necessary. Yes, Otto. Tomorrow we will tell them about that evening. That is correct. Where did you acquire such excellent information, Samantha? My father. He teaches languages at the university. He's always explaining where words come from. Like splendiferous? Yes, it's from the Latin. <laughs> yes, it is. Splendiferous is a word. <laughs> Look, Otto. You Hold are on. here to I'll check it out. Splendiferous stands right. It is a word. It's here in the dictionary. See? Wait a minute. Maybe Otto's right too. It says colloquial beside it. What's that mean? Well, it means it's slang. It should only be used when you're talking. <laughs> nice going, Otto. Okay, you're both right. Now, are we all agreed that the Herbertville Chronicle should be the name of our paper? Right, it's a splendiferous name. Read all about it. It's your Herbertville Chronicle here. Read all about it. 
guess I'll have to stay up late again and make another sign. Let's leave this sign up for the moment in case Mr. O'Regan returns today. Oh, I've forgotten about him. I haven't. He's still got my letter. You know, we'd better start our investigation. How? I don't know. But we have to find out certain things. Like what? I will take notes. Proceed. Thanks, Dada. Now, we're investigating a conspiracy. First, we've got to find out what it's all about and why it's happening. And when it's going to happen, if we know that, we might be able to stop it. And how it's going to happen, that's important. And where? We know that. Here, in Herbertville. But where in Herbertville? Are they going to rob the bank or blow the whole town up? And who are they? Who's in this conspiracy? Hey, look at that. It's the same as the poem. What poem? That one, see? I keep six unassuming men. They taught me all I knew. Their names are what and why and when and how and where and who. See, that's what poem means. It's a guideline. Right. If we can answer all those questions, we'll find out the truth. But how do we start? With Mr. O'Regan. Who does he work for? I've never met a security guard being hired to watch a whole street. taken them. Who's been in? Where have they gone? They have been transported to another galaxy. Another galaxy? In space? 